Um, slight correction. <laughs> it's not really an update on the transfer proposal itself. It's more and really only is addressing certain routing aspects of the proposal. And that's because, unfortunately, with all the um, conversation on the Aaron PPML, there's really only a handful of names you see on it discussing the transfer proposal. And unfortunately, none of it tries to look at how routing might be affected. So this is an appeal to engineers in the room to please get involved. So what the pre presentation isn't. It's not a complete review of the transfer policy proposal, which is 2008-2. You can go find that on Aaron.net. And it's not a door to debate this proposal here at Nanog. What it is, <clears throat> it's informational regarding the aspects of transfer proposal 2008-2 and how it has potential to affect routing and a request to the engineers, as I already stated, to take interest and give input on the Aaron PPML regarding this proposal. I know a lot of you are only on the NANOG and maybe you might ignore, aren't even um, on the PPML list, so I'm asking you to please get on the PPML list so that you can give some important engineering views. Okay, so how does this affect routing? Current policy allows for a number of resources, tr resource transfers only when assets using resources are sold and justification to retain those assets is present. That's the current policy in a nutshell. This proposal that's on the table would open the door to transfers between organizations. No acquisition would be required of assets. And based on a negotiation agreement between them while still meeting the justification requirement. That's it in a nutshell as well, but it also can change depending on what people give input on at PPML and at the conference. Okay, how can this potentially affect the routing? Potentially this could result in more IP4 addresses being shuffled around for use and thus create more deaggregation into the tables as opposed to those sitting on a shelf not really in use. You might view this as good or bad. This could be due to legacy or entities that just have not had an incentive to return unused address space. It can potentially limit deaggregation. There's a view that this proposal could potentially limit deaggregation and thus help prevent routing table growth if certain restrictions are embedded in the policy. Clearly, both these bullets contradict each other. And that's the key reason why I'm here. There's a lot in this proposal that given how it's written, it can or cannot affect engineering with the routing. Transfers must, uh, transfers must stay within the Aaron region. This would deter RIR shopping and keep Aaron allocations within its original allocating region and thus not run into prefix filtering issues. This is another thing that is questionable whether it will or will not be in the proposal itself. Okay, potential to allow dual stack to new networks. If this proposal works as hoped, it would make for it an availability of IPv4 address space after the IANA or RIR depletion and thus give new networks a fighting chance to create a dual stack network. Again, that's another hot debate whether or not that's important or not, but there are people out there that believe that ability should be there. Potential to inhibit implementation and growth of IPv6 networks. This proposal has put potential to inhibit implementation of IPv6 by creating a sense of IPv4 availability that may not really be there. This could could cause struggles between engineering and corporate planning upgrades. Potential to deter large black market routing issues. I think everybody in this room probably knows there is a black market. The size of it and how big it can get is in question. If a black market were to increase in size, there is the potential that, yes, I'm gonna use the word idiocy, would follow and routing would suffer there is the potential of addresses 
being sold on the black market being filtered out due to the user trying to use it in another regional area that has traditionally filtered out such prefixes. This is also, there's also the potential situation where a seller sells a block of address space for both global and private use in the future. The customer who bought for private use may have lost the person that knew that this is what it was purchased for and due to lack of competency and records may then suddenly start routing it publicly and then of course we all know what happens there and we have a clash on the internet. These are things that can come out of this and that's why you need to start looking at this and view, get a good view on both angles and figure out how can, if this proposal is to pass, what can we do in it to make sure we don't have routing issues. Okay, the last one. Potential to force NAT on networks where engineers may not want it. If marketing and fly-by-night CEOs find out they can essentially sell address space, then there's, a like, there's likely going to be a war between marketing and CEOs against engineering. Marketing will push to sell address space that engineers need to run a clean and smooth network and push NAT as a replacement. In the long run, it would become costly, but in the short run to marketing and CEOs that don't stay put for very long in a company, it would be a good quick buck. Those are just some of the aspects. I'm sure if you dig into the proposal and look at engineering, you're gonna find more. So, we need your thoughts, obviously, and specifically how you see this proposal could affect routing. And what should be done, should anything be done or nothing be done with the proposal? If you really think that doing anything, writing a proposal and passing it would be a bad idea, we need to hear that on the PPML. We need all the voices we can right now because this really is one of the most impacting and influential proposals we've had in our Aaron region, probably in any time past. It's going to affect everything. So please participate. Here's the email address. You can go on Aaron.net and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And that's it. So are there any questions? Okay. Thank you. And again, I, oh, do you have a question? Or, or, no.